Hi, welcome back everyone. In this section, we're going to look at microservices versus monolithic applications. So you're probably familiar with monolithic applications. They are built all together as one unit and that makes them uh, the traditional application design. They're easier to understand and design because they share databases and business logic. Uh, they can share the routing and middleware. Uh, it makes data flow easy to design. But a monolithic application fails. It fails completely. So failure of a part brings down the whole. And they can be difficult to scale because um, you just have to throw more processor power and more memory at the problem instead of being able to break it into parallel pieces. Now, microservice applications, on the other hand, they're built out of independent services. Uh, this architecture was adopted around 2011, and uh, the architecture does make it more difficult to understand what's going on in your application and more difficult to design. Um, that's because they do not share databases or logic or middleware services. They are completely separate applications on that microservice level that work together to form the overall application. And that can make it difficult to work with your data flow because all these separate parts have to somehow share data and yet still be independent with their separate databases. But this structure also makes them more resilient because if one microservice fails, the rest of the application as a whole will still have some functionality. Microservices can be much easier to scale than a monolithic application. With a monolithic application, you have to scale the whole thing, whether it needs to be scaled or not. But with microservices, you can just scale that part of the application which needs to be scaled. And you can do it just by duplicating parallel clones of the microservice. So this makes it much quicker and easier to deploy when you're scaling. So this represents a monolithic application where everything is part of the same group. We have our authorization middleware, a collection of different services, and our database, all is part of the same application. So it's easy for these services to access the same data and use the same middleware. Um, and it's very easy to understand what's going on inside of the application. Now with a microservice, we've divided the big application into smaller pieces. So we have a separate database for each service now and separate middleware as well. That way, these are totally independent services. And if one of them fails, the others will continue to operate. One of the main advantages of microservices is their resiliency. And in order to get that benefit, you have to really make sure that these services are standalone. That's very important to understand. Each service has to have everything it needs to function all within itself without relying on any of the other services. So now you should understand the differences between a monolithic application and a microservice application and why you might want to use a microservice application when it's important for you to be able to scale quickly and to have resiliency in the case of the failure of one of your components.